I can raise up about here. And then this thing can spin completely around because it clears the top edge there. If I move it out into the middle here, it can spin completely around and I can work from this side, which gives me unlimited room behind. But with the new downsizing of the table, I have enough room to work in here. So the bottom bracket mounts on a little yoke there and has a strap that'll hold it in place if you want. If the strap's not there, the front is locked in with the quick release. You can reverse it and lock in the rear to this quick release so that you can work on either end more conveniently depending on what you're doing. But if this strap is not on there, you can just lift this straight up so it's kind of like the rear end goes up in the air. And so you can do small things and you're not going to do that much, but you can do it. Anyway, this is a 2,400 baht piece of equipment. That's a little over 68 bucks. And it mimics the Park Tool Company version of the same stand um, that sells for six times that much and does basically the same thing. Only there are some features of the park that are a little bit nicer. Like you don't have two of these. You have one and then they just give you spacers to put on this in case you're doing the rear dropout. The rear dropout. It's 130 millimeter on the road bike and 100 on the front. They have quick release levers like this to lock it in place instead of these knobs, which is, yeah. I mean, once you've got this set up, you're not messing with it really. Useful. And then I get my handy stool. And I'm basically derailers at my chin level when I'm sitting here. If I raise this, pull this stem all the way up, lock it in place, then it's up here and I can stand and work on it six or one half dozen or the other whatever you need to do you'll do both now I just noticed this this is my cadence sensor attached to the crank arm but look at the clearance I had it down here more and it was like a hair's bit of clearance so I moved it back down here so it clears that if I have to, I can move it down to see the chain stay angles out. There's more room down here. Now I had to order another shim that goes inside here underneath this dust cap weather protect seal. Because when I get this thing adjusted so it, there's no play in it, the bearings are adjusted properly. The swing, the pivot of this is a little bit too tight. And so I've tried different things and the bottom line is I just need another. Those shim spacers are 0 0.3 millimeter. I ordered some from China. I'm going to put one more in there. I think that will solve that problem. These are the cool stop. brick holders and pads for the cantilever brakes. Now the cantilevers will go in that position and then I'm going to rotate this this way obviously but if I do that now the end of this thing is going to hit on the inside there so that's why they're set up like that. I'm not ready to do it. Anyhow yeah.
the Ritchie Paradigm mountain bike, gravel bike, off-road bike, pedals. I've never used pedals like that, but I went ahead and got them because it's a cyclocross bike. It's meant to be ridden off-road, even though I probably won't much. I still bought those pedals. I wanted to try it. The same rig I always set up with is Shimano Ultegra. I originally bought Paul Components Mini Moto brakes, but Paul is a goofy situation. I don't want to complain about it. I've complained to those guys already, but they won't sell you their Mini Moto with the carbon brake pads. They sell it packed with the the brake pads that work with alloy rims. And I asked them about that and they said, well, you can order the carbon pads. I said, but then I'm paying for alloy pads I don't need. And they're about 20 bucks extra. Why should I do that? He says, that's just the way we do it. I said, so if I ordered the carbon pads, you wouldn't just take the salmon pads, which are still in the original shipping box from Cool Stop, out of the box that you send it to me and, and put the carbon Cool Stop version in the box, which you have both in stock on an inventory shelf. That's right, we uh, only ship them one way, but if you want to buy the carbon pads, <laughs> that's just screwy. So I sent the Mini Motos back, 400 bucks, and that's the customer service you can expect. It's weird. That's a great company. I don't know why they do that. And I asked them. We had a long conversation back and forth in text. And, and that's just the way it is. So anyway, I went ahead and spent $30 and bought the Tektro, which is made in Taiwan instead of made in California. And they're 30 bucks and they do the same thing. They make the bike come to a stop when you press the brake lever. So I said, what the hell, just do it. But I ended up having to order these from Paul Components anyway, because these carbon shoes are hard to find, really hard to find. And I ordered another type of cool stop shoes that I can use regular road pads in but they won't fit into the Tektro. The nut that holds that one in place has to go inside this slot and it won't fit in there. So I had ordered both just to see and be on the safe side. And sure enough, I had to use the ball component supplied cool stop version. Such is life in the bike world. It's weird. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff like that. That's a uh, rotor crank set with the 30 millimeter spindle in there. And I bought the Enduro XT15 bottom bracket. That black knurled knob that's hanging out there is the bearing cup. These aren't cheap, but they're really good. Lightweight, strong machined extremely well anyway i'm looking forward to doing this but i'm waiting on that darn shim because there's no point threading cables through my shifters and bars unless i'm ready to hook it up here and not i've got to take this thing out again so there you go that's a little mini review up to date on the richie swiss cross -field. That's an SQ Lab 612 saddle. I like that saddle to a company. So, a new bike stand. That's the other new bike stand. The reason I got this one is because you can see you don't have to clamp it onto any of the pipes. That one was made to be clamped on either the seat post or seat tube or top tube. And that works okay, but I'll use this up at the bike port up above. And I'll use this one down here in the shop. 